Welcome, the Gamer Man's Lounge, awaken to play. All right, hopefully things are going well for you guys. As for me, got those sunglasses on. Let's go ahead. Welcome to the Waifus of Gaming. All right. Welcome to the Waifus of Gaming, and today, that's right, I said I was going to be doing more of the Waifus of Gaming shows. I mean, come on, let's get right on going. Come on, let's keep going. Anyway, in the Waifus of Gaming, we covered on Kimono Mimi Waifus, we covered on Human Waifus, we covered on Elves, but however, oh yeah, did we ever cover on Demon Girls? I mean, we dealt with, like, Actually, hold on. I'm going to go ahead and cut myself off. You know, how about we're, we're going to do this? We're going to talk about Demon Girls for a change. Because, uh, really, because I don't remember doing any any Waifus of Gaming segment on a uh, Demon Girl. Um, yeah, let's get right on going to that. However, let's all go back to the world of Taimonen, where we go find another newcomer into the Taimonen universe with Action Taimonen's Noah. That's right, Noah is quite the charming demon girl, as a matter of fact. And wait, well, I should be saving in the additional details when we uh, segue right onto our uh, stuff. So let's get right on going. I forgot what I was going to say, so... Let's all go back to the world of Time and Ends, and of course take a look at a franchise newcomer who happens to be a fellow demon girl who goes by Noah Brown. Noah is a chimera who has spent decades dealing with Edwin Black's bullshit, only until one day some main character gave her his bento box, and thus Noah joins the time and ends, I'm pretty sure other reasons, who happens to even treat her better. I mean, call it the power of friendship or whatever, but hey. Anyway, uh, even though she calls herself a cannibal, she doesn't eat humans. She despises eating humans. Because to her, it tastes fucking disgusting. To her. According to her. She was basically probably bound to be more on the good side rather than whatever Edwin was intending. Well, sucks for Edwin. However, her abilities as a chimera allows her to shapeshift her limbs into monster claws or just summon structures that will just either lift an enemy up or just give her a quick spot to sit on. However... She could also turn herself into a giant and then go to town clawing out mother lovers from left and right. She does happen to master an orb-like weapon that works like a blunt object. That weapon has her doing like range slash close attacks. We'll just go with sweep distant attacks. How's that? Yeah, sweep distant attacks. One thing I was wanting to point out is that she is pretty much technically immortal and she can heal fast. However, she can't take too much damage. Think of a certain fan-favorite comic book hero and his ability compared to Noah's. Alright, anyway. Noah burns out very easily but recharges when she eats food from left and right. Give her something to snack on and she'll be back in a groove. Noah carries a form of calm, typically, and technically emotionless personality, and if you want to call her a kudare, that would do, alright? Especially when it comes to her moments, Noah is actually cute. And of course, thanks to the power of the Taimonen series, Noah is also granted thigh and cake, and sadly for Yukikaze, a main heroine of the series, a bigger chest size. But anyway, let's put the shit talk to the side, and with that totally said, Noah is a great new addition to the Taimonen universe, but at the end of the day, she is a cute demon chimera girl that can summon her claws and structures and go big to smash those who were once taller than her. Noah is very adorable. I mean, treat her to some munchies and she will be happy. Even especially happy to fight off a dragon. Anyway. Let's keep right on going, and, uh, oh, wait a minute. Here we go. I think we forgot, yeah, we forgot about her usual outfit. <laughs> oh, my kid. All right, let's keep right on going. Now, Noah Brown usually does sport, like, a little white one-piece dress, but, however, has, like, a uh, long-sleeve jacket, mini jacket on top 
so yeah, the, the one piece dress is white, but however, that jacket is pretty much black with uh, red strings from left to right, or not red ropey, chunky, ropey strings, something like that. That's kind of how it works. And then she does have that usual headpiece that happens to be put on the side of her head. I think that's part of like her headband or something. But yeah. So it's a nice looking ornament headpiece for Noah though. And the one piece dress looks nice, very like fucking fabulous. Looks very stylish. 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 Looks very stylish, very fitting with Noah. And, of course, there's other outfits they've already introduced. I think part of the summer event, they entered, They gave her a swimsuit, a cute-looking swimsuit, though. They gave her a sleepwear set, and they gave her a maid outfit. And they also gave her, like, like a good old nice-looking one-piece dress for, like, special occasions. That was pretty dope. And they gave her, like, a... They gave her, like, a Halloween Kimono Mimi costume. Not bad. And I'm looking forward to getting a hold of that, uh... There's that one outfit that was going to get introduced in that one update. I'll go ahead and get a hold of that. But anyway, let's get right on going, and, uh... Yeah, she looks nice and fabulous. She's a cute demon girl, and uh, everybody likes her. Anyway, with that totally said... That is all, and I will be looking forward to you in the next video. Peace out. This is nothing but a video product made by a fellow gamer man. Ayo!